Listen well, soldiers of Hyrule. In our long history, we have scarcely faced a threat of this magnitude. The years have passed quickly since Calamity Ganon's revival was prophesied. Yes, we have unearthed the Divine Beasts and filled volumes with our knowledge of ancient relics. But a barricade of books will not protect us. This way surges a hole like we have never faced before. Even now, the enemy is clawing for our throat. For Hyrule Castle itself. We must exterminate the monsters roaming Hyrule Field. Thus, we'll begin our renewed effort to stop the Calamity! Here! Now! Go forth! And be brave for your kingdom! And so it begins, the Battle of Hyrule Field. Yes, hey guys, and welcome to Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, the game that takes place 100 years before the events of Breath of the Wild during the Great Calamity. And let's start off by doing some shield surfing techniques. Oh yeah, one of Link's strong attacks in this game is literally killing Bokoblins as you shield surf. Look at the gameplay compared to Breath of the Wild. Link is a beast, tearing through Bokoblins like nothing. Makes the original Breath of the Wild seem so much more at slower pace but uh, obviously this is a warriors game it's all about hack and slash killing hundreds of enemies even though it may seem unrealistic it's all about the fun and just enjoying it in the moment and <laughs> okay so much for that uh you know reinforcements they all just died on the spot but okay okay there's a lot to take in as you can see we already killed a hundred enemies mindlessly just by smashing the buttons and uh, they're dead, you know, it's nothing. Link is killing them like he is a professional at this. Which I guess in a Breath of the Wild memory, you do see Link uh, have slain a lot of enemies kind of like this, so it makes sense Link can do this. It's just crazy to see in such quick succession. But okay, so as you can see, I'm running around. Uh, it's kind of empty. We're in Hyrule Field near the first memory, actually. That's where we started off the battle. But I want to pick up this chest as it has five topaz in it. And uh, that might be helpful for a side quest and other things that we're going to find outside of the game. Because we do need material. As you may have noticed, we've been collecting material already. Um, and let's go to our first objective, which is to defeat this Moblin. Now, we can Z-target on it. This time, it's a camera target. You click it in, uh, which is the C-stick. To me, I'm, you know, more used to Zelda games having a Z-target be the option. But it's because we use it for other things. And there we go. I landed the Flurry Rush. And now we can do a weak point smash, which will completely obliterate the Moblin. Because you may have noticed its HP was going down very slow from basic attacks. That's because you want to do special attacks. Either break its little meter that it has, or do a Muso, which I'm going to show off. Uh, and that's pretty much a special move. But okay, there you go. I'm never going to get tired of using shield surfing um, to defeat my enemies. I kind of wish we could have done that in the actual Breath of the Wild game. But yeah, so, so far... We are listening to the King's Orders, we're killing as many Bokoblins as we can. They all vary in sizes for some reason, um, which uh, as you can see, yeah, this one is a complete difference in size, and that's because all the stronger enemies will require that. But then we did our move, so it should have killed him, but it left him with exactly one HP, which we were able just to slice out of him. And let me try this. There we go. Yes, if you open up a chest very slowly, Link will kick it open, kind of like how he did in Breath of the Wild. I remember showing that in my part one of Breath of the Wild. Now here I am doing it in part one of Hyrule Warriors. You know, we went 100 years in the past to do the exact same thing. But okay, I was hoping for some choo-choo jelly, because enemies do drop materials. And Oh, okay! Thank you, game! <laughs> Thank you, Gabe. The, the, like, the choo-choo jelly. I was like, no way! Okay, here, you can have me! And it flew towards me, which is nice. So you don't have to pick up every item. Uh, usually after killing an enemy, the items will float to you, which is nice, but... Um, it was just... That was... The timing was too perfect. I'm sorry. Yeah, that, that was amazing. But okay. So we got another big Bokoblin. Um, and I do believe the game will uh, let us do special techniques with the Sheikah Slate, which Link can already use. Um, on these enemies, but we didn't get a chance there. I do believe these chests will be good. Yep, we got them all. And now we can just advance forward. So, we're pretty much going to capture these outposts, but it seems like something is happening.
Okay, so that happened. Yes, we met Impa and this little cute egg guardian that we still don't know the name of even in the beginning of this game. We'll probably learn more about it as time goes on, but this guardian is very mysterious as we saw in the intro of the game literally travel through time. After Zelda attempted to save Link and awoken her powers, which we saw all in Breath of the Wild memories, we then see this guardian awaken from Zelda awakening her powers, and now it's here to help us. This, honestly, and as you can see, we're taking on a Bokoblin camp, we destroyed the whole camp, and we got a chest, but back to what I was saying, this leaves a lot of theories in where and what's going on, because this might not even be the same timeline of Breath of the Wild, but an alternate timeline where the heroes succeed. Granted, we might be in for the complete opposite and the most sad ending and see the true Breath of the Wild ending as this might be connected to Breath of the Wild, but we have no clue right now. The fact that the game makes you wonder is amazing. And okay, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted the prompt to go off screen. I actually want to use my Chica runes for something else and that is the bombs. As you can see, I can spam it everywhere, blow up that and just like that, yeah, we've killed all the enemies. Summoning the keep boss. This is pretty much for each outpost. We need to kill this guy and then we can completely claim the outpost. Thus, relieving it from the calamity aura we see all around. But okay, so we have to do a special attack here, which is throwing bombs, breaking its gauge. And then you could easily do the weak point smash, which kills it. But yeah, overall, the story has a lot to wonder, a lot to speculate. It's a really good way to start off the game because you think, oh, I played Breath of the Wild, I know exactly what's going to happen. And then they throw that curveball and you're like, oh, okay, I have no idea what to expect. And that's pretty much what's going to go on moving forward. So I am so hyped for the upcoming uh, story for this game. For those wondering, I'm actually playing the demo version if you're watching this after the game came out, which doesn't matter because the game is going to transfer everything to the original version so this is pretty much like playing the first quest in the original version but it's cool how nintendo gave us an early demo that we can play the first hour or so of the game and that's why i was able to record this far earlier than the actual release of the game um and hopefully when the game actually comes out i'll be far better at this game destroying all the bokoblins claiming all the outposts and getting uh, all the material I need. Okay, is he dead? He finally. Took a while, but there we go. Another outpost completed, and I do believe that is all the outposts we need to claim with Link, because a fire wizard robe appeared. But not only that, this is something we actually seen in the Nintendo Treehouse, so I saw this coming before even playing the game myself, and that is, yes, you can now play as Impa. Impa is a playable character. So, Link, you've done enough. It's time, yes, to play as Impa. She's way more fun than Link because her moveset is insane. So, here, let's start off by showing how insane Impa is. Let's absorb some symbols, and what that means is we're gonna essentially generate Sheikah symbols onto the enemy by pressing R on them, and that will let us then absorb the symbols from them and once you reach all three symbols, like you're able to absorb it three times, you get this many allies on your side. A whole 
like, army of Impas are fighting. They're all running like Naruto. They're all looking so badass in their ninja. I love how they wear the hats. Do you remind me of Mask I like how she isn't, so you know the real one, outside of them being in a blue aura. But just, yeah, in general, this is so cool. Like, this ninja, like, you know, moves that Impa has is the best way to display the Sheikah. And there we go, we got a fire rod, which we can use on enemies, and you can actually replenish from killing more fire wizard robes, so the item won't completely break. But okay, I, I don't care for that yet, because we'll have plenty of time to enjoy the gameplay. Let me actually show off something else really cool, and that is, this is something we've also seen in glimpses of gameplay before the game came out. Yes, Lon... Lawn Ranch. We've seen this in Breath of the Wild. It was known as the Destroyed Abandoned Ranch, whatever it was called. Ranch Ruins. But it's not ruins yet because we're a hundred years before everything bad happened. Or during the time it happened. Right before everything was destroyed. So as you can see, these Ranch Ruins aren't completely ruined. They... It literally, it's identical. I, I entered the ranch just like I'm entering from Ocarina of Time, and boom, this is where you'd learn a Pona song and ride a Pona and everything. It's so cool how accurate it is, and the fact that we actually got to see it, you know, before it was destroyed, because we saw its ruins in Breath of the Wild, and boom, we got a Korok Seed just by being here. It's kind of similar to how Breath of the Wild had a Korok Seed in that exact location. Now, I'm not sure if in this location we had a Korok Seed, but as you can see here, there's another Korok Seed we can get, so that's two down. We're going to be collecting all of them. I'm actually going to make a guide when the game fully com comes out, showing all, hopefully not 900 Korok Seeds, but we'll see. It might be 900 if that's where they went for, but either way, we're collecting everything there is to this game, and now let's continue on with Impa. So, okay, let's enjoy Impa for a bit because, I mean, we've seen Link's gameplay, and overall, his gameplay is very standard with a sword and shield. Luckily, Link will get different items. Hopefully, all the characters will get much more unique items to change up their moveset. And by items, I mean specifically weapons. I mean, Impa is just so fun with her banners, her clones, her freaking... All of these ninja gadgets. It's just its so fun to watch. Look at this. T too amazing. But okay, let's go ahead and use all of our, uh, you know, Impas <laughs> to make collateral damage into this awesome Sheikah explosion and that ends up using your army which you're gonna have to um you know generate more by generating symbols and consuming the symbols and then making more impas but uh it's very easy to do and you usually want to do it all the time really i don't see a point unless you're running right now which is gonna eventually wear out um because we're not really attacking or even you know putting them to use but there we go we just go back into battle and we can easily start charging absorbing the orbs and using it to our advantage so um this keep we don't necessarily have to claim as you can see there are three moblins that have appeared to end off this quest but uh let's show off more gameplay because let's be real the first mission is always so short and simple that it'd be nice to kind of actually play the game for a bit um so yeah, let's go ahead and generate all of the symbols, have Impa fully decked out, and then use our Musa before they run out. See them all go. So, it's so cool to see them all in one. There you go. Huddle up, set the bombs, and bam. But that should summon, yes, the keep boss, because the keep itself is low enough. And now we can freeze him with um, our Shikarun, but it didn't necessarily... Um, like, it just, he just hit it and was frozen. It worked out perfectly. It didn't look like I was going to land it, but it worked out to our advantage. And boom, we got the weak point and we can finish him off. So the whole point of these bigger, much, like, uh, bigger enemies, and by bigger I literally mean just physically bigger, um, is to use, and even this fire wizard, as you can see, is much bigger than how it was in the original game. Okay, I didn't mean to switch the link, but we can go ahead and use a couple attacks on him. You know, throw some bombs, get him weak. Can I actually get him weak enough? Okay, now we'll switch to um, Impa to continue. I'm actually going to resume the rest of this quest with Impa because I know we're going to play a lot as Link. And I feel like a lot of people are more interested in Impa. At least myself. Like, let's just watch her go real fast killing this Wizro. But yeah, they're all so much bigger. And that's just to indicate that they're like generals. So instead of, you know, them being color different or like something that really makes them stand out they're just bigger and it makes sense and why they have far more hp because of it so yeah all of these basic attacks are doing nothing as you can see very little damage it's all about reaching that weak point 
or reaching a Muso, which actually have built up. And then here is what would replenish our Fire Rod if we used any. We can easily pick it up and um, use it more. But we're going to go ahead and just continue down. And I guess we can end off the quest now. And that is by defeating the upcoming... Whoa! Moblins that are right up ahead. So, okay. My clones are about to run out. So, let's go ahead and just quickly use the Muso. Which, there we go. We <laughs> ended up getting more. It looks like we generated... A symbol. I'm gonna have to get used to Impa's uh, Musa altogether because this is still new to me. As I mentioned before, this is just a demo, so hopefully by the next few parts, when the game is actually out, um, I'll be far used to all of the characters' movesets. I'm gonna be playing this demo non-stop until the original game comes out. But okay, we got a Flurry Rush, which gives us another set of attacks. Let's do another one. Oh, cool. It's so badass that you could do it in between their set of of attacks making it so much easier to land damage on them but okay they're all stacking up on me i want to do some cool attacks that kind of hit them all at once as well so okay they're hitting me but luckily i'm sure they won't kill me it's, it's kind of hard to die in these games at least when you're playing in normal mode because yeah the enemies project their attacks pretty well see all of these attacks i'm getting hit by is because i'm not paying attention but um there we go let's go ahead and have all of my clones just like that and end up i want to make this look epic with impa you know really take him out there we go okay oh but the moblin has a little more hp okay okay let's go ahead and make sure you're finished off so a couple more hits there you go weak point smash and all that's left is this last one behind me so do something what you got for me or are you just gonna die okay he's just gonna die all right well there we go that does it so we can just end it here with Impa once again. Uh, might as well do that, not stall. So, weak point smash and success. That does it for the first mission. So, we fought well. Thanks, uh, King Rome. I appreciate it. And I guess he's noticing Link. The young knight served well. Nice. Okay. Official pointed knight. So, I mean, clearly he's noticing, and there you go, victory. And this victory theme is so nice. It's so cool that we're going to see the establishment of all of these characters, how they got to know each other more, and everything uh, throughout these cutscenes. And speaking of which, there's a cutscene right up ahead. So, we're just picking up our spoils, all of these weapons for Impa, for Link, even these new materials that we're going to figure out what to do with them right after this. But let's see what happens next. An inexplicable guardian. And a mysterious tower. I hate to say it, but we have little hope of figuring this out on our own. Hey, what are you? No, stop right there! <laughs> Each of you has served your kingdom admirably. Huh. You made it! I'm glad you're safe, Impa. Yes, your highness. And I've received the Sheikah slate from Pora. The Sheikah Slate conveyed the Little Guardian's purpose. This anomalous visitor had traveled from a future of ruin, a time in the midst of the Calamity, to save Princess Zelda. Impa proposed recruiting Pura and Robbie, renowned researchers of ancient technology, to study the Guardian and investigate the mysterious tower that had appeared on Hyrule Field. King Rome of Hyrule gave his assent. And so, that does that for our very first quest of Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. 
but their journey has just begun. In order for Link the Hylian Knight, you must guard the mysterious tower that has appeared. I'm told it may be important. As for the time hopping guardian, it is truly deserving of our trust. You must discern this beyond any doubt, with the aid of the researchers. May the goddess Hylia watch over you always. Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. And there we go. So this is the menu of Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. As you can see, the map opened up with Link atop of the Sheikah Tower and Link the Silent Knight. I love how that's his title. It's a perfect title. So we unlocked him and Impa, the Royal Advisor and Loyal Friend. Both of these characters we just play as and now we can customize them and use them throughout the game as we're going to be able to level them up and just add a lot of cool stuff within the game. As, as you can see on the map, new things are opening up. So, okay, the map of Hyrule. Our main objective as tasked by the king is to make our way to the ancient lab. So road to the ancient lab, which is through the breach of Hyrule. But as you can see, we got a couple side quests and okay, the little guardian egg just disappeared. But here is a side quest, which we actually have the materials for. So just as in Breath of the Wild with the side quest being so easy, you just cook something. Well, in this game, it's the same thing. You just have material and you cook something and boom. But it does contributions to Hyrule, which will, you know, pretty much raise the morale of Hyrule, giving us more things uh, with collectibles and things in the shop. And just overall, we want to continue bringing it up. But as you can see, we don't have material for that side quest, but we have material to give Link an additional combo with his one-handed attack. So bonus combo. And just like that, we have given Link a better moveset. Sadly, we don't have enough to continue that, but it is cool that we have the option. This was something that you did in the Bazaar in the original Hyrule Warriors, but now you do in the Overworld because everything is done through the Overworld as it's the main menu. And here, we upgraded Impa's uh, combo as well, which will be very helpful. And then it moved somewhere else, I guess mini quests. Um, that we actually don't do. We just press A and boom, but we don't have the material for it. So there we go. We've done everything we can currently do. And now we're ready to head to the Breach of Demise and see what awaits with this new family egg guardian and tagging along with Impa. That does it for the first episode of Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. I am so excited to continue on. Learn about Hyrule's past. Learn all about, you know, what happened in this great war and hopefully changing it or just seeing every piece of it i hope you guys are as excited as i am thank you all so much for watching be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed but anyways i've been zelda master and i'll see you all in the next one bye